Aloha and good morning. Okay, well, today we're going to talk about the maybe unthinkable to some people. Making love or having sex. Is there a difference? <laughs> Let's go into that. Making love, okay, which of course is everybody's dream, isn't it? And having sex, well, that's what everybody does. <laughs> sort of like opposite of what we want and what we do are two different things. Now, remember, making sex, okay, or actually making love, having sex, but making love, okay, comes from the heart, doesn't it? Think about it. You're in love. Where is it coming from? Your mind? No, it's coming from your heart. Can anybody explain that feeling of love if you've ever had it? And a lot of people have never had it <clears throat> with a person. They've had it for an animal. They've had it for a plant. Maybe had it, uh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe the non-physical type uh, or living like your car. Okay, but making love comes from the heart. Okay, it's something that makes you feel beyond good. Okay, now let's just switch over to having sex. Does having sex come from the heart? Nah, not a bit, does it? No, no, where does it come from? It comes from the lower section of vibration, not from the heart, not from the stomach, but that's right, from between your legs. Okay? Remember, having sex is something that maybe we do for pleasure, for curiosity. I don't know, just to do something. Or maybe to do the role of either be submissive or aggressive. But having sex is not making love. <clears throat> And now let's get into maybe what makes us do what we do when we're actually making love, okay? Are those different hormones, okay? Loving, remember, is caring. Caring is nourishing. And nourishing is creating. Yes, it is. <clears throat> so that's a pretty good one. Making love does all that beautiful stuff, okay? Now, the ultimate making love, of course, is to connect with a partner. And that is a beautiful thing. If you have, again, the hormones, it's not just companionship. No, 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 no. You remember, you can love your children. That's different. It's a different type of love. I'm talking making love and not having sex. <clears throat> okay? And going intimate, okay, beyond the boundaries of, well, just what you would maybe love your child with. Okay? Now, when we look at the lower chakra, the lower chakra is, is controlled by pheromones. Remember, smelling the pheromones <clears throat> is a lust. Remember, the louche. And it's very strong. Look what it does to animals. They don't have sex for nothing. No, because they don't have sex. They procreate. They make love. They mate. They court. Okay? We used to. Yeah. I used to. Okay? Now, <clears throat> Animals that court, of course, they don't have a neocortex, so they're not just thinking about an agenda, okay? They're really courting to mate, okay? They're making love to procreate. Having sex is sometimes called deviance, okay? Deviance loving, because it's not loving. No, it's not. No, you're exercising, you're checking it out, Okay, whatever sex you're doing, you're, again, curious. And when you're done, you're probably embarrassed. Ha! When you make love, 
when you finish? No, you're not embarrassed. You said, what a beautiful thing. <clears throat> and when you had sex, because of the louche, because of the pheromones, what happens? All of a sudden, okay, <laughs> wow, what did I just do? Or what did we just do? Okay, because it is a spell, very strong spell. Pheromones, remember, are what make us do a lot of things sometimes we don't want to do. Okay, I don't see too many people in love anymore, holding hands. I don't see even just families being loving. I see a lot of texting, a lot of other integration, but you can't love your phone, okay? You just can't. What, are you going to take care of it? <laughs> don't drop it. Pay your bill. You can't take care of a tree. You can love a tree. Yes, you can, okay? So it's got because it's loving and it does care about what? What is loving? Caring, nourishing, okay? Giving some type of positive creation. So remember, this is hard to be able to explain only because most people don't want to hear it, okay? Remember, girls are looking for love, men are just looking for sex. Just remember that. Ha. Okay? And we'll say it different. Males are looking for sex, and they do look for love, but they don't get a chance to see it. At first, you got to have sex. And you may have love in the very beginning because, of course, love doesn't have too many boundaries when you're young. It's because it's pure, isn't it? Remember? Having love in your life is because you had purity in your mind. And once you see all this pornographic and all this weird stuff, is that what people do behind closed doors? Is that what kind of deviance they are? Trying to do what? Get their rocks or ovaries off? And then when you're finished, like I said, with the dirty deed, guys, girls, do you feel love? Or did you just like say, whoa, that was weird? <clears throat> That's what drugs do, okay? As the old saying goes, prostitutes wouldn't have a job if they didn't have drugs, sex, and you can say rock and roll, but each generation has its own music. Drugs, okay? Alcohol lead to all things that basically make somebody's mind even go to a prostitute. Most guys are too scared, okay? Why? They got to get liquored up first, got to smoke first, got to do what you got to do to to blend your brain to be able to see if you'll like this experience. But you won't like it in your regular head. Why? Because you know it's a weird spell. And they say alcohol does what? It makes you do weird things. Why? Because you're under the force of the spirit, the spirits. That's why they call alcohol spirits, because it brings out maybe some other spirits that uh, feed off of the louche produced. The louche, the energy that your sacral area, the lower chakras produce, okay? They get excited by just looking at a set of boobs if you're a guy. Look at the research. You can look at boobs for 10 minutes a day and raise your testosterone, guys. Just look at pictures of boobs. <clears throat> That's pretty easy, okay, because you're producing certain types of chemicals in your body that actually see something that maybe it wants to mate with. Wow, if you don't have testosterone, it'll just look like a bunch of uh, nothing, okay? And if you want to stimulate some of the testosterone you have, well, that research shows if you stare at boobs every day and or women stare at men's private parts or whatever turns you on, well, then guess what? you get more louche, more hormones, in ways that are sexually, okay, needing to be fed. Wow, once you get that in your head, is because it was activated by the lower chakra, okay? Once the stomach gets activated, the stomach chakra, okay, or, or the colors of yellow, okay? The red chakra, of course, is, is sexuality. The heart chakra is 
green. Yes, it is. Blue is the throat chakra, okay? And you can say violet, indigo, and violet are the crown chakra. <clears throat> Those are all different layers of consciousness, different layers of activation, different layers of chemicals being produced when those energy centers can be activated. It's very important to activate all your chakras, okay? The sexual chakra, yes it is. It's very important to activate and control each of the chakras. Sexuality, hunger, the next chakra, love, the next chakra, speak your truth, the next chakra, okay? into the consciousness of the mind, having questioning everything, and everything needs to be questioned. Of course. Why wouldn't you? Okay, the best thing is to question everything so you can learn something. Because maybe everything that you're told is maybe not what is so. Okay, so getting back to the, the pheromone. Let's just go to the dog real quick. You got a female dog called a bitch. She goes into heat. And every boy dog smells this uncontrollable pheromone that we can't smell, but we do smell them if we have testosterone. Dogs do smell them. Do you think the neutered dogs can smell that? They do from clothes, but they have no activation to it at all. Why? Because if you cut off the testosterone, cut off or castrate the dog, then it can't smell the pheromones. And of course, if the female is not ovulating or an ovulation, which is, means she's ready to breed, she is not producing the chemicals called the pheromones that attract the men, the men, okay, or the boys that can smell this pheromone. If they both have testosterone, they can either smell the pheromones or they can produce them. Wow. Either side can produce the pheromones, but one side usually smells them and is under the control of the female. Isn't it so? And if she's not in heat, well, the system says then the man's supposed to be in control until, of course, the pheromones come out and now all of a sudden there's another control. There's another sheriff in town. There's another smell in town. And of course, men act different when women are ovulating. They flirt more. Yes, they do. Flirt for what? Because they, what? Want to breed. Want to mate. It's not even in their mind. It's in the pheromone. It's what it does. Okay? So, <clears throat> the parasites, just so you know, that are physical, feed off of not the heart. Okay? They're making love. No, they don't. They feed off of all things that you know you shouldn't do and are, are very weird to do. Okay, and it goes weird. Bestiality, pedophilia, just anything that you can think that's non-traditional, okay, is a chemical that's produced in your brain. Anything that is traditional and or maybe sort of, I don't know, mainstream, then your body produces a different chemical. And if you are making love, then you are producing the ecstasy chemical, not louche. Parasites feed off of louche. And when you're done with your orgasm, I want you to, to just see how you feel, guys. Is everything perfect? Is that what you wanted to do? Did you take a chance of getting this person pregnant? And on the other side, did you do that too? Because don't blame it on the guy. Remember, you can close your legs. Are you willing to kill your child if you don't want this child because you weren't in love, you were just in louche. And when you're done with the orgasm, remember what happens. You can act like you love each other, but all of a sudden it's like, honey, I got to go. I got things to do. No, but lay with me a little bit. Remember, men are men, boys are boys, girls are girls, and women are women. And when men get done with orgasm, it is totally different when you're in love than when men get done with orgasm and you just had sex. Okay? Same with women. Same with girls. Okay? And girls, of course, to me are females that aren't socially engineered and they just basically see the care, love, nourishing, 
and beautiful thing that a feminine is. Okay, I'm talking feminine girl is. And of course, a male is a person that can provide a person, and it's not traditional, it's just what it is, a person that can provide, a person that can give provisions, and a person that can do protection too. Okay, it's a beautiful thing to be a man, no male. Okay, a man, of course, is is what I call socially engineered. Okay, you wear ties, you dress certain ways, you act certain ways, you pick up certain types of accents. And males, you're going to be a male whether you're a male, or <laughs> whatever man you choose to be. Okay, socially engineered. A male is a certain type of DNA that has testosterone and testosterone makes you do things and when you do things you provide, you protect and you can of course acquire provisions. That's what it is. Okay, and it goes the same for female. Okay, when you're blended with testosterone then you want to do caring, nourishing, loving and if you don't have testosterone in your system as a male doesn't have his testosterone in the system then both sides go haywire biologically get confused and they lose their male and female potentials. One can't smell the pheromones and the other one can't make them. Okay guys, just wanted to give you these ideas. Whether we like them or not, if you lose your testosterone, male or female, that means that we are not connected in many ways. Parasitically, maybe. Okay, that's the lower louche levels. And you won't be, well, attracted to the same sex or will you? No, you will be attracted to the same sex. That's what happens when uh, animals and frogs and everything else get stripped of testosterone. Okay, look at the studies. And that's what's happening to us. So, there's lots to talk about on this layer, but we'll go ahead and leave it at that. But just know that the <clears throat> testosterone is necessary for the males and the females to copulate and do it with love instead of just do it and all of a sudden have sex and either kill your child or, I don't know, have a child you didn't want to. Maybe that child's going to feel that you didn't or don't want it either. Why? Because it's a burden. Remember, making love is creating okay, another loving being. And having sex usually means you're going to create another person maybe like yourself. So be careful, okay? Be careful. And learn the endocrine disruptors, where they're at, how to navigate everything and anything you can. Okay? EarthRacademy.com. Learn the practices, principles, and protocols of terrain modification. And we will see you next time. Okay? <laughs> Aloha.